Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is December 17th. Right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can still see that inversion is out there, but it is going to get better here over the next few days. And as we go on into the extended forecast, it looks like we get pretty active for much of the state of California. We're going to dive into those details as we go through the video here this morning. Tempest Weather Station. This thing makes a great Christmas gift, by the way. Great smartphone app. Record all the crazy weather we get here along the West Coast in North America. Click on that link down below to save 10% off. Highly recommend that weather station. So as you can see, the National Weather Service offices are talking about the storm train coming towards the state of California, and we're going to be watching it very closely. Could encompass all the way from Southern California to Northern California, some mountain snows as well, some winds, some big waves, you name it, we're probably going to have it. Now, taking a look here, expected rainfall through Tuesday. So it's going to be kind of a slow progress initially, but then that trough should really get established off the west coast of North America. And you can see San Francisco, two to three as you go through Tuesday. Again, look at Livermore, Concord, Napa, Santa Rosa, Cloverdale, four to six. Bigger amounts up as you go towards northwest California. But eventually the storm track is probably going to pivot all the way down towards southern California. And... And as for Weather Service, Sacramento is really good. They're usually on top of things. And you can see what we do know. Um, the forecast snow levels here as we go through Sunday are going to decrease as you go Monday and on into Tuesday. Breezy to gusty southwest winds are possible. Probability of two inches of rain is in this graph here on the right. I got more on that stuff here in a moment as well. And daily two meter max temperature. You can see that we, you know, we're largely getting rid of that inversion. You see the foothill areas are not much warmer than the valley areas here as we go through this upcoming week. And, and then towards next week as well. We do start to cool off much of the state though as these systems get a bit more active. Now taking a look here at 500 millibars, this is 18,000 feet. Uh, you can see the ridging here kind of that's been protecting the state of California still in place here as we go through some of this week. But you'll see the pattern chain start to develop here and this is what's known as a trough. And look at this thing and the ensemble mean the best tool we have for the mid-range of the forecast really shows this troughing being very persistent up and down the west coast of North America. This would mean a very active period for the state of California. And this is Christmas Eve morning. There is Christmas morning right there. So you could have some fun weather as we go through the holiday days up here in Christmas, Christmas Eve, and probably all the way on through the new year as well. Now, if we take a look here at the European model, artificial intelligence, in fact, I want to show you something because we got something new. We got a new tool to play with here. And let's bounce that back up again here. We have the GFS artificial intelligence. Today is day one that this is running. So we got the European artificial intelligence and now the American version of it. It'll be very interesting to see how this model performs. And I can't wait to watch this over the next coming months and years to see just how well it does. So you can see pretty good agreement as we go through. What about hour 114 there with the atmospheric river pointed at some of the bait area and some of the northern Sierra Nevada and then you can see it bounce around trough starts to get established both models have it European artificial intelligence is quicker with the heavy rain to Southern California but the GFS or you know finally gets there as well and again that would be on the day Christmas that could be some pretty impactful weather for Los Angeles and then you can see pretty good model agreement there then we go off into the future a bit more and things start to diverge and see more of a colder trough on the GFS versus some atmospheric river activity somewhere into the west coast of North America a bit warmer solution there so total precipitation in inches watch this look at the national blended model so here we go on through this weekend, that would be about Monday afternoon. Big time precipitation amounts. And you can see it finally starting to get down towards the central coast. And as we go off in towards Christmas Eve, and Christmas starts to include Southern California. And again, some huge precipitation amounts showing up as you look off in through the 10 day period. Very fun stuff here. We're going to get really active. Now, taking a look at total precipitation in inches on the artificial intelligence in the GFS. Let's scroll through this really quick because we're just looking off into the fantasy forecast land. It is Christmas. But yeah, you can see big amounts on both models. So yeah, confidence is increasing in this pattern change, no doubt. Accumulated positive snow depth change in inches. This is different from what you'll see when people show 10 to 1 snowfall ratio maps and it just kind of blots out the entirety of the Sierra Nevada and northern portions of California. You can't really tell what's going on and you know it's probably not going to happen. This tends to be much more accurate when you see the actual snow depth change in inches. And as we go on into next week, you can see we start to pile up some of that snow for the Sierra Nevada from the northern, you know, the Cascades and northern California, Klamath Range out there also. And as we go toward the end of next week, you can see we have the chance to start to build up some nice snow amounts. This would be additional on the ground there across much of the Sierra Nevada, you know, two, three, four feet, maybe as you go off all the way in towards next weekend over the next 10 days. 
drought free across the state of California. There's an update coming tomorrow. Should not change much. Glad to see it. You got to give thanks for that. Six to 10 day precipitation outlook above normal for the entirety of the West Coast. Six to 10 days still above normal. Eight to 14 day as well above normal. And then above normal temperatures also all the way towards the end of the month. And of course, this experimental products have really been bullish on bringing this pattern change. Look at that high risk all the way down through Los Angeles down towards what, you know, Oceanside down there as well and moderate risk up and down the West Coast of North America. And that trough is no doubt going to keep things very active. Look at that high risk for some of the Sierra Nevada and Northern California also. Risk of high winds will accompany some of these storms. Check out the Patreon page if you like. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and I will catch you guys in the next forecast. We'll check everything out again.